Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. Today I'm going to be trying out the Lost Artifacts mod by Who Knows. So this is a really cool mod because it adds artifacts around the map and artifacts are just items that you can pick up and then you can put them into your nail in order to power it up. Really, really, really cool idea. So it's kind of like a new charm system almost. And I can't show you the menu until I get the first artifact pickup. But yeah, this mod is actually integrated with Randomizer. So if you're using Randomizer, randomizer with this mod it'll throw all the artifacts into the pool of randomized items of which there's a lot of randomized items today I actually made a list because I wasn't sure that I would be able to remember it all so we're doing all items but Grimkin flames all movement is splits we're randomizing benches darkness <laughs> levers and we're also randomizing doors which is a new mod so this mod adds more doors to the game and I think it's gonna add like 15 doors you'll get somewhere and you'll plan to like pick up an item and then there's just going to be a door in the way and you can't progress until you get the key it's going to be a lot of fun are you going to do god master ending <laughs> no <laughs> I'm going to do any percent, maybe true ending. True ending always depends on whether I actually get the charms for it. If I don't, then I'll just go for any percent. I think this one might take a bit longer than normal because of more doors and the darkness pod. That one definitely adds time to the rando. Okay, let's play the video game. So we are starting in this elevator. Yeah, I can't go to the right because there's this wall. You have to break this wall from the right. I've been doing a bit of any percent practice last couple days because I kind of got the itch to play any percent again. Lost artifacts. Oh. It's not enabled. <laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. <laughs> Today I'm trying out Lost Artifacts. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to find some this time. Let me actually double check the rest of the settings too though. It was going so well. We had two out of three dreamers. We had one piece of King Soul and we knew where the other piece was. It was at the egg shop. Ah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left. I'll get some artifacts, right? Oh, Ismus here. Right off the bat, I'm gonna get these checks. I'll get the grub to the right, grub location to the right. Ooh, hidden station stack. We're already unlocking different parts of the map. Ooh, white fragment. Hive blood, right mantis claw. So how many, how many do I need? 20? 14 for right mantis claw. Okay, lush moss. Oh, that's an artifact. We've got artifacts. This piece of moss came from the massive moss charger. It has a mysterious healing power that allows the moss chargers to recover their moss no matter how many times it's destroyed. We've got some lost artifacts in the game. Um, so I need to come back to get uh, Mothwing Cloak. If artifacts aren't randomized, uh, I don't think they drop from bosses, but they do have um, static locations. It's a lot like Transcendence, where they have like locations on the map um, unless they're randomized, then they'll just be randomized with all the other items. Uh, have I checked Cornifer? I think I... yeah. Gotta get this. Ooh, Desolate Dive already. What is that question mark at the stag? Oh, the mask is in logic. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Grossmother first, though. Working on my big final teaching licensure assignment. Ooh, I got a lost artifact. One second. <laughs> Here we go. We got the menu. This is the Lost Artifact mod. We've got slots for our nail. And since we have an unupgraded nail, we only have one slot. But we have all these artifacts that we can pick up. We have one called Dreamwood. Small piece of a whispering root. It enhances the dream nail, allowing it to weaken enemies' defenses by draining their energy. I do not have the dream nail, but I will equip this anyway. Just so I can say I equipped a lost artifact, finally. <laughs> oh, there's a door. Did you guys see that? There's a door, of course. Ooh, descending dark. Nice. Ooh, right mothwing cloak. Oh, another white fragment piece. Do I already have King Soul? Oh no, that's my first piece. <laughs> okay. Ooh, world sense. Keep meaning to ask if Fire or anyone here has tips on practicing speedruns on console. Hmm, I don't really know, honestly. There might be a way to, like, crossroads tag. There might be a way to save your save files. There's King Soul. <laughs> and 
and like replace them after you do certain things. Um, not completely sure. Oh, bench. Oh, a lantern shard. Ugh. Like if I play with V-Sync on, I just do not have a good time. What is this? Oh, this is the Dreamwood. Hmm. So Lost Artifacts seems to be adding these spots, but I don't think they're... I don't think these are activated. I don't think I turn these checks on. Oh, False Knight is not checkable because the door is... Because there, there's the door here, so I can't check that. Got a kick out of watching you try some low percentage skips during your manhunt games. <laughs> I'm glad I have the powers of video editing so I can, you know, cut out all my failed attempts. Oh, Vengeful Spirit. Okay, that's really good. Oh, Stagnest is the one I have, not Hidden Station. Well, I also have Hidden Station, but I want to use Stagnest. Gulka Gully. <laughs> I love the names. Oops. Okay. I mean, we skipped artifacts first try. God. Don't remind me. Ah, that run had Dream Gates. That run had King Soul. We had Monomon. We had Lurian. Oh my god. It's really hard. Worm Ash. So great was the worm's power that even a small amount of its corpse's ashes carry noticeable power. Imbuing the nail with these ashes allows the wielder to harness the worm's control over life. Eight, six, four hits per minion. So I get some something for each minion that I have. But yeah, getting into speedrunning is really hard. I know like in the past, a lot of people recommended. Oh. So every eight hits I do, it creates a minion. Oh, okay. That's how Glowing Womb should have worked, right? Not using your soul. Imagine adding Glowing Womb to the game and thinking it would be a good idea to use all of the player's soul to create these stupid minions. Oh man, I have to go all the way back. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the soul totem in here. Good for bosses. You mean the, the artifact? Or Glowing Womb. Don't try to tell me Glowing Womb is good for bosses. If Glowing Womb spawned a pet for each, like, hit of soul that you got, then we'd be talking. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know if it would be good. Because it would just spam the screen and cause you to lag. <laughs> okay, so what movement do I have? I have Right Moth, Wing Cloak, and I have Isthmus Tear. Uh, I guess I can just go back to the stag station. Thanks for getting me interested in HK. Oh. I am glad. I missed the soul totem in there. No, I have to go back into the Joni's room. <laughs> I went all the way here and I didn't get one of these checks. Of course, classic fireborn move. Oops, oops, oh God. What do you think would be a fair notch cost for King Soul? Uh. Yeah, probably two. It's because it is pretty slow soul regeneration. However, I think Team Cherry kind of thought like, we don't want... Ooh, why did I drop down? <laughs> no. I just went straight past that check. I think Team Cherry didn't want people to like just hide in a corner and wait for their soul to go up to heal. So I get why it costs five. It's a mod for Void Heart to retain soul generation. Yeah, it's really nice because in randomizers, you don't have control of whether you get Void Heart a lot of the time. And sometimes you just want to keep the King Soul effect. So that mod mod is welcome for sure. I might, might use that. Oh no, do I have to warp out again? Jesus Christ, <laughs> the benches are so cursed. More nail upgrades, Pog. Oh yeah. That's, a, that's actually really good with this mod. Normally, I don't think much of getting a Pale Ore in Randomizer, but with a Lost Artifacts mod, it's going to be really useful. Fireball skips are not easy, so don't, don't like, beat yourself up if you can't do it. Oh, Weaver Song for zero. Nice. Oh, I have, I have Descending Dark, don't I? Oh my god. I have Descending Dark. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, does this mod reduce the damage of the upgraded nails? I did kind of make the randomizer, like, difficult to compensate. However, 
it doesn't really increase the difficulty of the combat as much as it does just make the randomizer longer and more difficult to complete. Vertical Super Dash. Ooh, another Pale Ore. Nice. Oh, and there's a bench in this room. <laughs> I have to go get that. Oh, I can Fireball Skip. Don't use a GameCube, D-pad. <laughs> Do not use that. Even using the GameCube D-pad for Smash Taunts is bad, let alone movement. Oh, Shade Soul. Nice. Can't stand connected D-pads. I actually prefer connected D-pads, but I get why people don't like them. It's kind of like the same thing as... same. Oops. I had two health. I'm really excited to see new artifacts and also upgrade my nails so I can use more of them. But one thing I'm confused about is I don't know how the levels work. So there's like three levels for each artifact. I don't know if you can like socket it multiple times or something, or if they just unlock as you upgrade the nail. I know there's something like overcharging the artifacts that you can do once you get a pure nail. Also, more importantly, controllers suck. Like this Xbox Series Elite 2 or some, I, I forgot exactly what it's called. This is like $150 Canadian, and they tend to break down in a year or so. Oh, I just fell off the map. I, <laughs> I got kind of distracted ranting. Um, how do I warp back? Uh, close your eyes, everyone. Just walked straight through the door. <laughs> Is it gonna work this time? Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, false key. Oh, that's the false knight. That's actually a lot of checks, so that's good. And there's a bench to the left. Like, I do kind of like that Nintendo at least has some unique aspects to their controllers. Oh, directional dash. Oh god, where am I going? I don't have any wall jump, so... Ooh, void emblem. Holding it provides, provides a strange sort of comfort. An emblem crafted by the ancient civilization designed to contain void energy. Holding it provides a strange... Oh, I already read that. <laughs> Striking an enemy repeatedly builds up the damage of the next spell. Max 50% increase. Oh. So I have level 0 nail and some level 2 spells, so I think that emblem is actually going to be pretty strong. It's on Scarab. Mantis Lord's middle right. Oh, I'm trapped. Where's my closest bench? I know I got... Oh, I have Dirtmouth. Oh. Finally, overgrown atrium bench. Okay. Don't you have a vertical crystal dash? Uh, yes, but I don't have crystal dash. So I have to get crystal dash first to unlock that. Uh, dream gate. I didn't realize this was here. Oops. You can get left mothwing cloak and one of these artifacts. And then I probably want to make my way to the nailsmith. Heal a mask after a certain amount of nail hits. Okay, that's... That's pretty good too, actually. Will there be mods that rebalance HK to make up for the power increase from Lore Master, Ascendance, Lost Artifacts, whatever? That is a really great idea. I know there's curse settings like randomizing the nail and stuff like that, but I don't think that adds that much difficulty because like once you once you pick up those uh, split nail, then the difficulty is gone and you still have all the bonuses from the other mods, right? So it would be nice to have like a general difficulty increase. Oh, I have multiple air dashes. Oh, Helling Wraith's nice. I can open this. What about an all achievements run again? I've, I've never done an all achievements run and I probably never will, unless it's like a punishment for something. Sag Knight even has a custom death sound now. Holy crap. That's amazing. Oh, there's Flooded Stag Key, Mantis Lord's bottom left. I hadn't really thought about it though. <laughs> Gonna hop out of chat, but keeping the lurk up. Okay, Shadow Cult. Oh, there's a door. God damn it. I was gonna go into Blue Lake. Let's just go back to city. Going to city is okay. Mm, I do not have the exquisite key. Still gonna get this shortcut before I continue. I remember Team Cherry saying in an AMA on Reddit that, like, the reason why Luke Ness was so imbalanced was because, like, the way it was designed, it would always be imbalanced. 
But like, you just have to balance it around the shotgun effects. Not around doing it at range, you know? Maybe I should go back and do Soul Tyrant. I guess it's also because of the fact that it has like a high notch cost. They could have maybe decreased the power and decreased the notch cost as well. Stop, stop doing this. <laughs> oh my god. But... Oh, don't die. Oh my god, I missed both. I'm so afraid to dash because I'm just gonna get a weird diagonal dash. I want to save soul to heal. There is some scaling with uh, nail upgrades in the base game, but it's mainly just with Dream Warriors. And it is kind of weird, yeah, for sure. Back rolls. <laughs> How to trigger a Hollow Knight speedrunner. Ooh, Shaman Stone for two. Silk Song is collect. There's a door. God damn doors. I came all this. W okay, I can I can still circle around, right? If there's another door at Lem, I'm doing, I'm gonna lose my mind. More doors in a nutshell. Oh God, I did not know what I was signing up for. No, I forgot. <laughs> no. There's one more path I can take. I forget back rolls were a thing and it tripped me up so much. Oh. oh. God damn it. Maybe I have to go through fungal wastes. I forgot about the doors, yep. <sighs> oh, what are, what are your thoughts on Bellfly's fire? I like them as an enemy. I can only do one nail upgrade, I guess. Which artifacts do I currently have? I have Lush Moss, and now I can equip one more because I got a nail upgrade. So I have this one, which increases my damage for the next spell I do with each nail hit. I'm not sure by how much per hit, but it seems really good. Debuffs enemies that I hit with the Dream Nail, so they take more damage. And I have this one, which spawns Glowing Womb dudes. Uh, For sure. Because the thing about P5 hitless is that... I don't think it's that fun, honestly. Well, I haven't even equipped any charms. I'm two hours into the run, and I haven't equipped a charm. What am I doing? This is a dark room. No. Oh no. What? Why did I turn on darkness mod? Marmu? I actually don't hate Marmu. I get why people do. Started playing GG Gu Guilty Gear a couple months ago, and that's a really good traditional fighting game. I haven't played traditional fighting games, really. Come on, this just let me up. <laughs> We're, I'm, I'm going to have to backtrack so far. God damn it. Oh, I have King Station. Never mind. Have you put on any charms yet? Nope. <laughs> Some, I've got a Woken Dream Nail. I've got Void Heart. I haven't equipped a charm. <laughs> Ooh, free Steady Body. This is how you summon Hunt Hustle. Free Steady Body. Zero notch cost Steady Body. Hunt Hustle, where are you at? Ooh, another artifact. Monomon the teacher studied the charged Lumaflies closely and extracted their essence to give Umu electrifying powers. Applying the essence to the nail may produce a similar effect. Oh, I have more slots too. Swinging the nail creates a chain of electric bursts. Shorter each swing resets when touching the ground. Oh, look at this. How much damage does that do? I am Umu now. <laughs> I get a taste of being all powerful like Umu. I just need invincibility for like 20 seconds at a time. Then I'll truly be Umu. Is this a running gag that people ask you about Absrad? It's not a gag. <laughs> it's it's genuine. I mean, it's understandable. Absrad is tough. And I guess people want to come to me for advice because I'm the Hollow Knight guy. You can pogo. Oh, oh yeah! I remember. Who knows? Actually mentioned that to me. Well, now we can get anywhere in the rando. That is cool. Any radiance? 
Okay, we can unlock the area to the right. Yes. Hidden memento. Oh, that's a shy shout out. Oh, well, shy, shy gets the OP artifact. Definitely equipping this one. Let me dream gate. I have dream gate, right? Yeah. Okay. The fact that I have awoken dream nail means I could also go to white palace. How much progress have you made? Um, I have. How many dreamers do I have? I have none. Oh my god. Did I kill zero? It's dark. Oh, I didn't realize this level of darkness would prevent me from seeing the dreamers. Oh, Defender's yeah. Crest. That's a check. Shade Soul. I already have that. Oh, so there's nothing good Can except for Defender's that? Crest, which I need 15 for. So I guess we need, we might need eggs. Yep. There's Mantis Claw. <laughs> that's good to have. I, um... Oh, downward fireball. <laughs> Perfect. Killed the time eater turn two. God damn. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Oops. My hazard respawn is set all the way up here. Oh my god. No. Okay, I've got this. No worries. We're clutching this out. Shy. Shy was a speedrunner. Um, they passed away, unfortunately, earlier this year. They were a really, like, friendly, cool person. So it was pretty sad that that happened. I worked with Shy. Uh, they edited a few videos for me and they made the God Gamers, or they didn't make the God Gamers Path of Pain video, but they helped me out with it. They were always just like a super pleasant person to be around. So shout outs to Shy. No bench here. Lake key. Oh, yeah. So I've got Bardoon's key. <laughs> it's got a little Bardoon on it. Who did the artwork for these? <laughs> Infected rock. Three, six, nine extra soul. So increases soul gain from striking enemies with the nail. Oh, the level of the effect is based off of where you socket it in the nail. Okay, so this Shy's Charm deals increased damage with Pogos. And that one has the plus 40% damage effect because it's socketed in a level three slot, which is the head of the nail. The right and left sides are level two, so they'll get the middle effect. So 30% in this case. Interesting. So which charms, which artifacts are most important? I think this one might be a really good level three effect. And this one, six extra soul is a lot. Actually, that might be the best one. Nine soul is so much. Let's keep the shy charm on or artifact rather. So when you get the last nail upgrade, pure nail, you can also overcharge an artifact slot. And I'm not sure what that means. It sounds cool. Yeah, normally, oh, this, that was the check I was looking for. Normally, you'd expect these bursts of electricity to be from an enemy. <laughs> Traveler's Garment. Cloak from a traveler who braved the wasteland beyond to reach Hollow Nest. It carries the aura of its former owner. Scales damage with the player's highest velocity over the past second. <laughs> what? Interesting. That That is such a unique effect. Do I have to, do I have to go from the other direction? No, I do not. Nice. Wall climb. Nice. When you go on YouTube, you kind of expect super engaging entertainment, which is what highlights provide. I have done nothing productive whatsoever. <gasps> Finally, we got a dreamer waiting at the very beginning of the game. The first check. And Gorb is tanky as hell with nail upgrades. <laughs> I've been a very sheltered boy, actually. That's probably why I got so good at video games. I don't have any of those distractions in life, like socializing. I guess that's why I'm bad at video games. <laughs> oh, I missed God Dinner earlier. Oh, Shade Cloak, nice. There's bonus damage from the artifact too. Oh yeah, scaling with the player's highest velocity over the past second. Yeah, so there's bonus damage from that. Simple key, yes. I don't think I can make it up to that lifeblood cocoon. Oh, we. Oh yeah, I, I can. What am I? What am I saying? 
I've got the I've got the pogo thing. Uh, I kind of like having Dream Wielder right now, but Quick Slash might be better. Could even use Grub Song for Grub Song, Weaver Song, and Dream Wielder. Let's do that. You gotta get back into doing bingo races. Ooh, almost got four lantern shards. It's especially ooh, oh two lantern shards in here. Finally got the lantern. Now we can go do zero. Just need one one more dreamer, or is it two? Did I get another dreamer, or did I imagine it? Oh, I imagined it. Horizontal dive. Wait, first check is up here, right? Yep. Maybe I'll heal up first. It'll be embarrassing to die here after playing one twelve percent speedruns. Where's the fattest Geo Rock located? Uh, Kingdom's Edge, I guess. Like the, the big one. And Golden Husk. <laughs> I wouldn't say we're overpowered. Okay, we're overpowered a little bit, for sure. Holy crap, so much electricity. Did I get everything? Wait, is there, is there a bench in here that I missed? Don't tell me there's a bench in here. I'm gonna... Oh, it's right here. I just walked past it. Oh, tumbleweed. These little weeds have been tumbling about the howling cliffs for as long as anyone can remember. Anything imbued with its power will become as swift as the wind itself. Striking an enemy increases movement speed for five seconds. Oh, that has synergy with the uh, Traveler's Cloak. Or be Beast Shell? Wait, Traveler's Cloak, right? Yeah, Garment. The God Seekers crafted this jewel through harnessing the power of the gods of thunder and rain. It reveals the bearer's inner nature and allows them to ascend ever higher. Casting Fireball Diver Shriek grants bonus attack range, movement speed, or damage for five seconds. Okay, so I want to stack all the movement speed to work with this one. That would be cool, I think. Yeah, some of these... I like that they have synergy. Attack range, so Shriek must increase attack range, right? Oh no. Fireball. Oh. Yeah, it gives you... That's bigger than Mark of Pride, I think. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Pride plus Long Nail plus Fireball. Yeah. We got some nice combos with this charm, actually. I kind of want to put the this one on the top, because even if I have, like, one electricity burst, that's totally fine. And I want the most damage scaling there, so that goes up to 200% damage scaling which is a lot. Why is it 18 Celsius out in October? That sounds awesome. It's like zero out here. No, I hate it. What? That is good weather. <gasps> yes. We got a dreamer to refresh stream. My new emotes are here. Ooh. Minus 25C is not, no. I have my windows open until like minus 10. <gasps> We're done. Deep Nest was really good. Going for sub hour any percent. Nice. Five hour stream stayed through most of it. Nice. Yeah, it was nice to have you here. Perfect cool. Okay, it seems like I'm doing a lot of damage because I'm always moving, so I'm always getting the bonus damage. I'm kind of curious how much that actually adds. So if I dash, oh, I, wait, let me, let me, this isn't cheating. I'm just making a bench. I guess I'll go out here. <laughs> I, want, I just want to see how much damage I can deal with the nail using the mod. I'm not cheating. I'm not. This is not cheating. Umu is so painful when you're learning. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, let me check the health. Oh. So that's a 52 damage nail hit. That's pretty high. I only have nail three, so it's not even pure nail. So that's really high. <laughs> the health bar's gone. 
minus 50 HP. Oh, I skipped all the phases. <laughs> the music hasn't even changed. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've done that in a modded playthrough, so this is definitely a little bit of a strong synergy. Hey, Veras, we had a baking stream today. Oh, that's awesome. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> What about with Fury as well? Oh god, that would be so much damage. Missed Scream Skip reset time. Oops. Only thing is I don't have um, Monarch Wings, but I at least have the up dash. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. This is actually the most balanced out of the um, mods that add, like, upgrades. Oops. Oops. Ouch. Oh god. I didn't didn't reach radiance. <laughs> the real monarch wings were the benches we made along the way. <laughs> True. Oh, thanks a lot, Varus. I appreciate it. That mod is actually a lot of fun when it's enabled. <laughs> That's the trick. You gotta enable it first. Most balanced mod destroys radiance in 10 seconds. Yep. That's about par for the course norm, though. Thanks everyone for the GG's. Don't forget to enable the mod. Note to self. Thanks so much, everyone. Really appreciate you all. Thank you for the support. Thanks for hanging out. Subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Uh -huh.